Woe is me, consumed by fire, I fall, dragging my shadow to where I don't now even recognize myself. Pedro Calderón de la Barca, El Gran Teatro del Mundo. Welcome. Chapters 12 through 15 involve Don Quixote and Sancho's encounter with Sanson Carrasco and Tomé Cecial, disguised as the Knight of the Mirrors and his squire. Carrasco's goal is to get Don Quixote to return home by defeating him in combat. There are funny moments throughout, but the problematic nature of neighbors and friends is the issue. Here Cervantes explores both what keeps a society together and what tears it apart. At the same time, these chapters are existentialist. The Knight of the Mirrors is literally a reflection of Don Quixote, and Don Quixote repeatedly insists that he exists, that he is who he is. Also, the encounters between knights and squires anticipate future episodes. Sancho will get drunk again with one of his neighbors, and Don Quixote will do battle again with Carrasco. Chapter 12 opens with another error-filled dialogue between Don Quixote and Sancho regarding Angulo el Malo's theater troupe. Don Quixote claims he would have defeated the troupe and won the gold crown of the Empress and the painted wings of Cupid. The Empress was not the figure described as having a crown, nor was it Cupid who had wings. Did you know Charles V, also known as the Caesar, was emperor of the Holy Roman Empire and held power for 40 years until 1556. Sancho's reply recalls the novel's theme of metallurgical impurity. Never were the scepters and crowns of staged emperors made of pure gold, but rather of trumpery or tin plate. Don Quixote agrees and launches into a defense of the social utility of theater, arguing that actors, as well as authors, are instruments that perform a great service to the Republic, placing a mirror before every step we take. If this also sounds like a defense of Cervantes' art of the novel, that's because it is. Using a popular analogy, Don Quixote then compares theater to life. At the end of a play, all the actors are equal, at the end of life, death removes all the clothes that distinguished them and all are made equal in the grave. Sancho then makes a familiar comparison between life and chess. But these are different views. Is life entertainment or contest? Why does Sanson Carrasco want to defeat Don Quixote? A, to take his land. B, to convince him to return home. C, to kill him. Correct answer, B, to convince him to return home. Don Quixote is impressed by his squire's wisdom and Sancho says that his master has transformed him. Something of your grace's discretion has to stick to me. Sancho then reasons himself into a corner, making an hilarious analogy to farming. For lands that are on their own dry and sterile, once you spread manure on them and cultivate them, they come to bear good fruits. But wait a minute, this means Don Quixote emits shit. What I mean to say is that your grace's conversation has been the manure which has fallen upon the sterile land of my dry wit. Previously, this comment might have gotten Sancho a beating, but here Don Quixote laughs. That's all for now. We invite you to watch our next video. If you liked this video and want to continue learning more about the knight errant Don Quixote de la Mancha, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Also, you can enroll in our free online course on Don Quixote by clicking here.